back to my channel. I'm going to start vlogging again. I've not been vlogging much the past few weeks. So I've not really been up to anything too interesting to vlog and I've been so busy that it's just nothing worthwhile recording. So I've got a bit more going on this week, which is actually fun stuff. Uh, I'm just going to go meet Lauren at the Trafford Centre, but can you hear the rain? I'm just going to sit in the car for like two minutes and hope that it dies down a bit because I'm not even driving and my windscreen wipers are literally on full. I've got a few bits from my Primark haul that I'm not keeping that I'm going to return and I'll just bring you with me, see if we find anything nice and then tomorrow I'm going to go watch Liam's football game so we can go to that together and get ready. Which I'm very excited because it's a late kickoff, so it means winter clothes. I hope it's not pouring it down but it can be cold, I don't mind it being cold. We've just been shopping. <laughs> What have you got? Are you going to give us a haul? <laughs> what are you going to give us a haul? <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> What's in your bag? <laughs> Look at this food. We've just come to ELN in Trafford Centre. Oh my god, I've got this spicy tomato and burrata pasta. Uh, burrata. <laughs> burrata pasta. <laughs> Lauren's big. Oh Open her up, Lauren. This is insane. Oh, that does actually look really nice. And then we've got this for dessert. Oh Miss God. French toast. How nice does that look? Hello. It is now Tuesday. I'm just getting ready to go and watch Liam's football game. I've just washed my hair. Um, I thought I'd just show you what I got yesterday. Also, I use this new skincare thing um, that I got from TikTok look at my skin i've never had like i've never suffered when i was a teenager with spots never really get spots at all unless like my period's due and i get like the odd one around my chin oh my god this is good at the minute this actually is fine but the other day i looked my skin was just awful and it hurt as well it was so sore can you see i've got some around here still here i had some light in my hairline so i'm definitely not venturing out and using any other products at the minute so i've gone back to my basics which i love anyway but i was just testing something else out to see if it were worth it I managed to get the skims hair clip that i wanted i went for this color i was stuck between this one and the blonde one but i thought my hair's quite dark now so i liked this one they did have it in black as well um which is nice but the like sequins were black as well so you couldn't tell it was skims and i know that's very materialistic but if I'm paying £24 for a hair clip, I at least want it to say the brand on it, do you know what I mean? So this is the colour Auburn, if anyone cares, because I put it on TikTok and a few people have asked me where, what colour it is. But I really love it. And I've been wearing these loads as well, like all the time, because they're so much better for your hair than having like a really tight hair my bullet. And so when I'm not doing nothing, it just gets shoved up with one of them on. I got some wellies from Primark, which I've been trying to get some wellies for literally weeks. No shops in store have been selling any. I thought I'm not paying like six pound delivery. I literally want some cheap wellies. So I got some from Primark. I think they were like, I think they were 14 pounds. They look like nice black boots. So if you're wanting some, they do it in khaki as well. But I just need some wellies to walk ace in because it's very rainy and muddy on the walk that we go on. And then from Zara, I'm gonna wear this today actually it is chucking it down but it's like 18 degrees still like i went out with ace earlier with a jumper and my big winter coat on oh my god i was so hot and sweaty so i'm thinking i want to wear this it's so like a gray bar can we see so nice and this was 45 pounds i got a size large as well that's the code if you care if you want him to get the same one i would definitely size up because I think an extra large would have been my preferred choice, but they don't do it in an extra large. This is the biggest size. Um, and it's still fine, but I just think, you know, when I wear like loads of jumpers underneath and stuff, um, but large is still fine. I, I still wanted to get it because it fits nicely. The like, quality is so, so nice as well. So I'm thinking to wear this tonight with a black hoodie underneath with like the hood peeking through, some black leggings and my black sambas with some white socks. Also, whenever I dry my hair, <laughs> I'm all ready, shock, I'm in a rush, I need to go and quickly take Ace out and then set off but excuse all this mess, this is my outfit. Got my new bomber on, my hat and my little jockey boost bag and my sambas. 
It's Saturday today, I'm just getting ready because I'm going to go and film my H&M haul. And I thought we could get ready together. I've got some new products to try. This came in the purse yesterday. I ordered this because the H&B Cosmetics, I literally love everything that I've got from there. I've got the powder and I've got the concealer. And they're the best powder and concealer that I've used. So they brought out this Soft Focus Luminous Glow Tint. And I got an email the other day saying 40% off. So I got this for £10 and it comes with a brush. Um, I went for shade GT7, so it was just, just it's hard doing it online, isn't it? Because you just have to guess, but let me just pop a bit on the back of my hand. I never really wear foundation unless I'm going on a night out, and that is very rare that I go on a night out. So having like just a glowy, light skin tint is perfect because my skin as well, can we see? I've got like a few little ones, but they're not like 3D anymore. They're just the redness, so that'll go. But my skin's cleared up a lot, so... I don't really need the coverage. Just got a little mirror here. Let's see how this looks. I've already got my moisturizer on, but that's everything I've got on at the minute. I never really put anything on with a brush either, so this just feels weird. I don't know how I feel about the brush. I've just got it on this cheek. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just given me a little bit more of a glow and just a bit more colour. So I'm happy with that. Has this got to anybody else? Before I was literally getting up at half seven every day, going to the gym, filming my videos, so productive. This week, I don't know if it's because I've been a bit run down, but I've just had no motivation whatsoever. This week I've not been to the gym. I think I've been once. I've still been filming my videos, but the gym has completely gone out the window this week. Um, so I need to get that back on track on Monday. Um, where's my concealer? Concealer, I use shade 2.5W and it's the H&B one as well. It's so full coverage, it's so, so good. I think this is why I don't need foundation as well because this is like, it doesn't sit thick, but I feel like it's thick like to cover everything. Don't know if that makes sense, but I absolutely love it. Not last weekend, the weekend before, me and Liam went to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Is that what it's called, like the theme park? Oh my God, we literally had the best day ever. We didn't realise, it's only like half an hour from us. So if you like live close, I'd definitely recommend it for like a day out because we've not been to like a theme park probably since we were like in school. Um, and, oh my God, it was so fun. We normally like used to go to Alton Towers and like some of the queues there, like I remember we queued for the Smiler once and it took three hours. Whereas there, we went on a Saturday, so we were expecting it to be busy, but it weren't even that busy. We queued, I would say the longest we queued for were like half an hour, so it weren't bad at all. And it was so, so good. But the like, the big ride, is it called the big one? That was short because it was broke. And like the, the builder men were like walking up it and it is tall. I swear, there's like a sign that says it's taller than the Statue of Liberty or something. And they were just walking up, like not even attached to fix it. So I'm kind of glad they realised it were fixed before my turn. <laughs> because I would not have for getting stuck on that. We did not stop laughing all day, it was so fun. Um, what else have I got to update you on? I feel like that's pretty much it. I've been so busy, but doing like boring stuff, like having clear outs all the time, like I'm selling all my clothes that I don't wear anymore and it's literally taking me so long. Going to the post office, like every day posting parcels and the pile just doesn't seem to be going down, so. Literally next week, whatever's left, I'm charity shopping because I'm sick of my room being a mess with all the clothes I don't wear anymore. Also, I'm being quite busy I'm upstairs. I want to surprise Liam because his gaming room upstairs is like full of my clothes basically, like the ones I need to sell, like others. Um, and he's just got. <laughs> His gaming chair broke yesterday because when we did the move, it went a bit funny in the removal van, like it was a bit slanted. And yesterday, I was sat down here watching Made in Chelsea and hear a massive bang upstairs. And I was shouted up, You're right. <laughs> I went upstairs, my belly right now, I'm laughing so much. He was just laying on the floor because the chair had snapped because it was broke already. Um, so, he's currently got one of the deck chairs from outside up in his gaming room. And he's playing on that. So he's got a deck chair and he's got my clothes and like some crap that I need to sort out next to him. So on, I've ordered him a new gaming chair to surprise him. And it's like, it's not a technically a gaming chair, it's an office chair, but it's like proper padded like material rather than like 
the rubbery plasticky stuff that he's got like what is it like leathery eh? that he's got at the minute and um, it's like a grey really comfy one it's got like heated massaging on the back of it as well and he always likes having his like massages on his back and stuff so it's perfect and it's like got a footrest and everything so i've ordered that that's coming monday and i've also ordered some like gaming like led strip lights god knows how i'm gonna work them but i thought that when they come we could surprise him and like set it up and make it look all nice and then he comes i'm hoping it's everything's getting delivered on monday so I hope it gets delivered in the morning so I can build it so it's finished when he's back from football. But if not, then it's not really going to be a surprise. Is it? He's going to see me building it or he's going to see the parcel come. Um, but yeah, I just thought he does a lot for me. So I wanted to do something nice for him and sort the whole room out, take all my stuff out that needs moving, make it nice and tidy. I've ordered a reed diffuser so it smells all nice and fresh, give it a good clean. And then because the new FIFA's out as well, they'll probably be on it more than usual at the minute because they all got obsessed, don't they, when it first comes out. And then I thought as well, I could do him like a little snack box and just put like his favorite like treats in and put that in the corner of the room as well. So it's just like a little nice FIFA setup. Do you know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you. I think it's just, I think it's, I ordered um, my face wash last night because I've run out. And on Space NK, I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser all I will ever use. I've used it for years um, and it is literally the best face wash ever because it doesn't strip your skin. Your skin still, it doesn't feel like really tight, you know, when it feels like it's just taking all the moisture out of your face. It takes your makeup off. My skin is normal, I obviously. <laughs> the past few videos has been awful when I had that reaction to that new skincare thing I tried. But normally, like, you can see better now. I don't really get spots from it and I've used it God, for years and years and years. I can't even remember what I used to use before. So on Space NK, I think it's normally like 20, 24 pound a bottle maybe, and it was 16 pounds. So I thought, well, I'll get two um, and stock up. Cause Liam uses it as well. And he's got really nice skin. So if you need a new face wash, I'd definitely recommend that. I'm gonna put on my Primark blush. Do not sleep on Primark makeup. It is so good, especially these blushes and the lip glosses. £1.50, this is my second one. Um, this is True Peach. My other one were more of like a, a pinky one. This is more of a peachy one, but they are so pigmented. I'm just gonna take this gigantic brush. You do not need a lot of this. like. And then I'm just gonna lift it up like that. Look, can we see? Just to keep my face lifted. We don't want to drag it down. Can we say? I did a bit more definition and a little bit darker. And I feel like it suits me now that my hair's darker. Oh, I got my nails done yesterday as well. I got little French on my toes and then I just got like the pink ombre. My fingers. Probably a little bit pinker than I would have liked, but I still love them to be fair. And they're a little bit shorter than I usually go for, but I don't hate it. Um, but you know, when they file them, I don't know if you can see. Can you can you see down the side of my nail there? He was filing it. Obviously, I appreciate the shape that he's created because they are perfect. But oh my God, it was going through me. He was filing my skin. And now, do you know like when you knock a nail and it's like, so sensitive to touch my whole hands just feel like that i'm hoping it'll die down like probably tomorrow i'm back i've spent the full day filming i've got everything done that i needed to get done and i'm now just gonna go and post the printed parcels that need posting this is my little outfit it's finally not raining so i'm taking the opportunity to put my fluffy bacon stocks on and my new jacket because I'm obsessed with it. My parcel have been dropped, I've just got to the range. Also, I weren't being dramatic about my nails, they're bleeding, where he's filed it. He's literally filed my skin. But the range, look at the size of that. It looks like it's gonna be a good one. Look how big it is. So we'll go in, hope they've got some nice pillows for the bed. I'm excited, <laughs> I love a range. They're cute, a little mini boucle. Um, like footstool things. It's like what I've got in my bedroom stuff. It's like HM home then. Mushrooms. 
Here we are. Is there any nice cushions? We've got loads of bedding stuff. <laughs> hey boo. Let's see if that could maybe work. Because I've got like, that might match my bedding actually. These are so good as well. If I had more space, like a pantry or something, I'd defo put, you know, like cereal and stuff, like spaghetti in them. And these are nice art boxes, actually. They'd be good for Liam's meal preps, because the lids on his aren't that great. How nice are these as well? If you've got like a utility room. I love the little, um, them. Oh, when I have my forever house, it's going to be unbelievable. I can just imagine it. Like... Imagine just, not that I scrubbed the floors with a brush this size, but why is that just so aesthetically pleasing? Look at that just pan and brush. This is literally everything that I got. I got the basket from the range, I got some floor cleaner, and then the rest is just snacks I'm going to put in Liam's gaming room. Oh, Nene, it's now Sunday. Someone is going to need to remove this jacket from me because I've worn it every day since I've bought it, but I absolutely love it. It goes with everything. We're just going to go and get some brunch because Liam's playing golf today, so... We'll get some brunch in the morning and then I've got a day to myself. Um, we're going somewhere called Home, which actually looks really nice on Instagram and stuff. So hopefully it's nice because I'm starving, but we're late. So we've got like three minutes we need to get there. So I'll see you over there. We're here. I think I'm going to get the avocado and egg on toast. And then I think we're going to share these hot fried dough balls. Liam said he's going to share them just so I don't feel fat getting it myself, but I can't decide sweet or savoury. How nice they sound though. Look at this. If you could smell these, oh my god, they smell unbelievable. Liam's right in this with a burger. <laughs> that looks nasty. Oh my god, look at that Nutella dip as well. Good morning. It is now Wednesday. The chair literally came last night. I meant to come on Monday, so that just threw my whole plans out of the way. But last night it came about, what time? It must have been about seven o'clock at night time. So I was tracking it like secretly on my phone. Me and Liam were downstairs watching a film and then I heard a knock on the door and I'm like, oh, I'll get it. So I went, we've got like a door before the main, the front door. Okay, go on then. Um, so I shut that door like pretending the ace were gonna run out or something. So I had to carry, I will show you in a second, the biggest, heaviest box I've ever lifted up the stairs while Liam was sat downstairs. I don't know how he didn't clock on. I was banging around, I couldn't breathe. It was so, I don't even know how I got it upstairs. And then I thought, I'm gonna put it in my room because it never comes in here, just in my dressing room. And then I shut the door and then I went downstairs and went, what was that? I went, oh, it was just a Zara parcel. I'm so sorry, I went <laughs> like this. He just didn't even think anything. So I managed to get away with it. So it's been up here last night. And then today he's gone to play golf with some other lads from football. So he's going to be out the house for like four hours maybe. So it's literally worked out perfectly. Um, everything's come. I've got just a little reed diffuser that I just got off Amazon um, to make it smell nice. It's lavender and something else. And um, I got these LED lights as well, which are from Amazon. Not too sure how the hell you work these. 10 meters, that's quite long, isn't it? It's only got a small room, but it says you can cut them. We'll figure that out. I've got no idea, but they're, how cool do they look? So I'm thinking maybe put them around the skirting board. So then at night time, when all the lights are off, it's just got like a, I have got no idea. I'm guessing you just stick them on. Ordered in my Stanley Cup yesterday. Did they get released? Set my alarm, got up really early and got them just as they come in stock. So I'm praying it comes today, but I don't think it will. But it'll be really excited anyway. So we're going to have matching Stanleys. He can stop stealing mine. Um, but he's got no idea about all this, so I'm so excited. So the plan for today is literally... Let me show you the room right now. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is the box that I put my dressing gown over so we didn't notice. Look at that. I had to carry that upstairs. You don't even it don't even look that big, but it was so heavy. So this is the broken gaming chair. This is the garden chair. He's got his little table thing there, which is fine. And then this is all like the stuff that's still to sort out. So I'm gonna take everything out, give it a big clean, and then we can put the lights in, put the chair in, his little snack thing that I've got him, and it'll just be nice. 
a nice relaxing space because at the minute <laughs> it's anything but that right, this is everything out of the package i probably picked the most confusing chair we've got remotes this is what the chair looks like that's a footrest that pops out of the bottom it actually looks really comfy the arms are there right i found the instructions God. I'm sweating so bad, it's just fell on me. I think this part's a two-man job. I'm really struggling. Look, let me, can you see if I stand you there? So I need to connect these two parts together. Ah, but I obviously can't hold them both. So I'm trying to balance this on here and then this needs to attach to this bit. And I just thought I'd just tightened it all up and got it together and then it fell and it hit my boob. <laughs> it's just so heavy. If I kill someone, I'm giving in. It's literally impossible. So I need to attach that bit there with that. So them three and them three, it just goes straight through. So there's nothing to secure it so you tighten it up on that it gets put in that and it just falls straight out hoovered and dusted let's set up this reed diffuser so it all smells nice and then we'll do the lights and i'm going to go back to the chair because i'm not giving in i don't know what if i've done something wrong i've got no idea but i've tried to google like a video and they're in any so it's just the instructions are just literally a little picture why can't they have writing with it as well? There's a little reed diffuser and his man of the match on there. Alright, so we've got a plug. What the hell is that? We've got this. A remote. Oh, that's cool. You can change all the colours. And I'm guessing these are the lights. Ah, so it's already got sticky bits on the back. I just checked that they actually work before because I did that once with the Christmas lights. I wrapped them around the whole tree. It took me about two hours, plugged them in and they didn't work. So I'll always check your lights before you put them in. They work. I don't know if you can see. They are lit up. Oh my God, I've done it. Ah, how cool is that? I'm just really scared to cut the end off in case it breaks it, but... Let me just shut the blinds. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever done. Let me pull the remote up. He is gonna love this. Oh. Shut the door. Oh my god. Purple. Oh my god. Red. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? That'll do there. You have to cut it on the cut mark, so I've just got that little bit of it, but that's fine. It's tidy up in here. Then we're going back to the chair. I will get this chair done before he gets home. God, I figured it out. I am such an idiot. The whole time I've been trying to attach it to the outside, it goes inside it. So once it's inside, then you put the things in. That's why they're too big. Oh, right. We've got this, I'm gonna attach that. It's coming together. Look how comfy that looks, by the way. And it's heated and a massaging chair. I've only gone and done it, and oh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited! I just plugged it in. Moment of truth. <gasps> Shall I sit on it? I'm scared it's gonna break. <laughs> Let me just tuck this under. I'm done. Oh. Oh, it's comfy. Oh my God, it leans back as well. Right, let's test out. Excuse all these clothes. These are what I've sold or selling. Right, oh, right. Heat, yes please. Ah, oh. I deserve this after my hard work. What a chair. Can you hear it? Oh, that is lovely. And this is the finished result. I've put his little snack basket down there. 
The chair is in, obviously it reclines when you sat on it. I've got another extension cable down there. Why are you filming? <laughs> what do you think? No. <laughs> I nearly killed That's someone building like. this chair. Sit on it, it reclines. Even a snack thing. Snack thing, all these lights. Oh, it's nice. Reed diffuser, so it all smells fresh. Oh, right, <laughs> <laughs> Sit on your chair. I appreciate it. Sit on your chair. Oh my god, it smells good as well. Nice, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Hello, baby boy. Nice. And then, uh, so this is different settings for you. Oh, it smells so good. That really diffuses right nice, isn't it? That's for your chair. And then you can get an app with this, connect it to your phone, and um, it syncs to your music. So it's round there. So what colour? Pick a colour. Um, purple. I've got it on purple now. I know. This is your favourite colour. Oh. No surprise. Yeah, thank you. I really like it. Love you. Love you. Right. I'm going to end this video here after my day's hard work. I'm going to make you watch back the footage of me building this chair. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.